Welcome back into Victoria's Tarot. Today we want to go behind the bedtime story. And I want to know what was behind the bedtime story. Why did Katie feel the need to tell us all those extra little tiny teeny details that we weren't thinking about in her bedtime story? Why did she decide to put the story the way she put it? What's really behind the story? Because I'm betting a million dollars. That ain't the real story. It will never be the real story, girl. Girl. Page of Swords in the reverse. Behind that story is this kid having scattered energy. Not as calm as Katie said he was and just went with the flow like Katie said he did. In this moment of her telling this bedtime story, there's teamwork going on. We all know who that is. She has good old Christopher there beside her, and I'm assuming the reporter and herself. <coughs> the hidden influence, the Knight of Swords. There's somebody here who's feeling like they're out of control. The challenge, the obstacle, burnt out energy exhaustion that's what's really going on that's what's really behind the bedtime story she's burnt out she's exhausted and i feel like this is sebastian's energy over here that's all over the place feeling out of control surrounding the situation the will of fortune in the reverse something taking a bad turn maybe something going wrong with those coins and katie is just like you know what i'm over him acting up i'm over my coin's not looking right. I'm just tired. It's right here. Burned out energy. Exhausted. Queen of Cups in the reverse. <coughs> this is a mother who is not compassionate, who is not caring. It is what it is, say spirit. Five of Swords in the reverse. This is someone resolving a conflict. According to what we get to clarify, it could be someone who's getting revenge. What is really behind the bedtime story? Page of Pentacles, Sebastian's energy. So definitely Sebastian with the scattered energy. Working together. Working together not to expose something. So in that interview, that's exactly what's going on. In the past, there's Sebastian with the scattered energy. In that present moment, she's working with Chris and whoever else to keep this thing hidden, to keep it under wraps. Then we have Sebastian's energy again, which I feel like is him feeling out of control. Now, it's either he's feeling out of control or you, Katie, which one? Knight of Wands in the reverse. Giving up, the end of a battle, can't do it no more. The High Priestess in the reverse. This is withholding information. I, I assumed you was doing that. That's why we got the bullshit bedtime story. You're really hiding the fact that you were done and done in this moment when you told his ass to go to bed. And he did not go to bed. He did not, yes, mom, you. Yes, ma'am, you. And went to bed. Stop it. Nine of Cups in the reverse. Disappointment. Unhappiness. You're upset about your coins. I see that. And then we have this walking away. You. Not Sebastian. You. Walking away. Queen of Cups. Whoever you may be. Queen of Cups walking away. She has no more compassion. She's, she's done with it. She's leaving everything behind. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. This is letting go of people, things, whatever it is that you were holding on to so tight in the first place. Letting it go. That was the solution. Let them go. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Wands. There's always the Queen of Wands. <clears throat> so this is all over finances and the other woman or Katie, you are the Queen of Wands. And has always been through all of the readings. 
Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video.